Alright folks, how you doing today? It is Clay the Author with video one in my uh, follow along tutorial series where I'm going to be providing resources for, uh, yeah, all you, fo all you DIY writers out there who want to do this stuff yourself as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to be outlining everything I'm going to be doing for free here to take my book from the rough draft I have it at now all the way through to uh, to market where I'm going to release the ebook and the print book for certain and then if I get extremely ambitious I'm going to go ahead and record an audiobook as well because why not you might as well bite off more than you can chew um, and I just wanted to go over the reason I got this screen up is because I just wanted to go over the rough outline um, of, of what the topics are going to be. I don't know how many videos this is going to be. I have to be honest. I only know how, you know, what the rough chapter breakdown is just because I know what my process was the last time I launched a book. And this time I can be a lot more disciplined. And so this is just simply the process I'm going to use based, you know, this, this, second time around it may change and whatnot right and so anyway here we are we've got where to start write your book because it's not really going to help anybody you know you got to start there also though in tandem you can build your platform so I'm going to be jumping back and forth between these two topics, as it were, possibly creating video series that jump back and forth between the two because you can do them in tandem. So next we're going to have niche and genre. That's going to be kind of split into two videos, write what you love versus writing to market. Um, you know, and I don't really have a stance on that. I'm just going to sort of, you know, provide resources and a couple little quick tip tutorials about how to go about figuring out which way you want to go right um, plotting in prose again that's not stuff I'm gonna teach you how to do I'm not the best prose kinda guy I'm actually pretty good at plotting so we may get into some some plotting stuff that I like to do but we definitely well I don't know it's going to be about the resources, all right? So that, that's, that's uh, going to be my main focus here is providing resources for you folks. Next is going to be editing our own work and resources to get that done. YouTube videos you can do to find that, Grammarly, etc., etc. The same kind of thing is going to be happening in tandem, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to plan these videos. Sorry, the series is going to be that rough. I'm still kind of new at this. Thanks for the uh, support anyway, um, is the build your platform side, which still has the exact same plan, execute, revise steps, um, because we're going to, on our platform, research our genre, our plot, and our prose, um, and then we get into revising that, right? Once you've tried a few things, what does it look like to iterate right to pivot in the in the uh, agile world of software right then we assume that we get all this stuff done here hopefully in a timely fashion enough to keep this video series going and we move on to so you've written a book hopefully we have and frankly after that all I say is that you just released the book but there are three tandem steps that we're gonna have to get done to get that done we can do a launch strategy which I didn't bother with for my first book an advertising strategy which I did not bother with for my first book and this emailing strategy which I did not bother with for my first book so we're going to be watching me get this stuff done for the very first time so we'll see how useful this is or how much it just is kind of a sad adventure lather rinse repeat because we're just gonna write the next book keep on building our platform and then releasing our book let's go ahead and step on into what this video is actually going to be about this is video one it is going to be all about resources to keep along uh, uh, to, to follow along right this is just going to be um, a resource walkthrough dump of all of the links I think you're going to need and of course we will actually grab more but if you just want to get a quick start going for yourself to get your own book written and get off on your way to make this happen 
this should get you through uh, a few of these steps here. One of the um, publisher uh, rocket uh, used to be KDP rocket, um, but but there was some anyway some legal I don't know what's yes yeah, so he still says K KDP rocket down here uh, when you look up publisher rocket. Um, while it is amazing from what I understand, I've never used it. It is, you know, roughly a hundred dollars a month. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a hundred dollars to just buy like $97 to buy it outright. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link below in the description. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, but yeah, you get 30 money, 30 day back money guarantee, all that stuff. But that's not what we're about here. We're DIY resources, so you can do it all on your own. And so we're going to go over to small SEO tools. So here's the weird part about being a coder and a author at the same time. In coder land, we have a bunch of free tools we give each other for doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, for instance, keyword tools. This is for webmasters and SEO professionals. Well, you know what? You and I, as independent authors, we are now SEO professionals. We have to be. These are free, powerful, and efficient keyword tools that provide you with thoughtful keyword research and analysis. Keyword research tool. Keyword density checker. All right? So this is stuff, folks, that you can literally... I'm going to get distracted, so I have to stay focused. This is one site small seo tools i will link to it below i'm i'm probably uh going to link to or have to host somewhere this clay the author's youtube list in some kind of uh links bag somewhere that perhaps i'll get you guys to be able to download I'll, i might figure out how to do that so you can just stick it in your own browsers as your own sets of uh uh, uh t saved tabs browser tabs um Anyway, as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff here. Backlink, you know, and so yeah, that's one resource. Yes, we're just going to talk about it now. You can start a new incognito window because you need to be incognito because Amazon will remember your settings if you are logged into Amazon over here, right? If I, if I type something in and let it autocomplete, it's going to really heavily weight whatever it brings back in this autocomplete bar based off of my, my account settings. Uh, and we, we don't want that. What we want is we want to go to, oh, did I just kill the, I did. I'm a dork. Exactly, so here we are, not signed in, in incognito, and you can use autocomplete here. You can go over here to Kindle. Where's the books? Boink, right? At least this is books. And so from books now, you can look up, um, let's see. A lot of books these days have thrown in the title. Oh, interesting, see? And so, because Game of Thrones is losing popularity, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't say that out loud, this is auto-completing to The Alchemist. Remember The Alchemist, seeing The Alchemist on uh, Hulu? I don't know if any of you folks have Hulu, but I think that's the adaptation here that we're talking about. And so, you can see that the Mueller report is really what's trending now and ranking hard. So if you wanted to use a really simple free SEO research tool for what's ranking on Amazon right now for how to name and rank your stuff, you can type in search terms directly into here and it's going to autocomplete, like think and grow rich, right? That is, right? And from here, there's even ways where you can, um, you can scale it down even more. I'll have to figure out how to do that before I do, you know, the, the full-on tutorial on the uh, niche finding. But anyway, 
we're going to do some niche finding stuff here and that little link will be down below after we get into uh oh right niche finding stuff exactly i've got more stuff to show you we're going to go over to youtube now because we might as well promote some other youtubers right this guy has got so many awesome videos about writing to market, finding a good niche, Hi, understanding okay. keywords, etc., etc. It's absolutely amazing. The creative indie, right? I uh, go ahead and I will um, creative indie dot com, isn't it? Um, Envy indie. I don't know what that is. Who knows? Hopefully, it's not uh, something. There we go. This is an amazing resource here. Um, this video series, I'm going to go ahead, or you know, this guy will link to Derek Murphy on YouTube. We're going to go ahead and get over to Chris Fox. Um, this is going to be the 21 day writing. Can't remember exactly what he calls it. Yep, here we are. We're going to get this link here. All right. And so this Chris Fox is absolutely amazing. We'll just go ahead and go straight over to his page as well. Oh, but I don't need to see that. <laughs> I'm moving too fast for my internet. This is not Chris Fox. This is Derek Murphy's face, but that's okay. It's Chris Fox's, Fox's YouTube. There we are. And so these guys are going to show you how to do a little bit of writing to market, right? As you can see here, writing fast, doing all this good stuff. And these are paid products, right? But they have tons of free videos online where you definitely get your values worth from just watching what they produce and just following them and clicking subscribe. It's awesome. Um, now we're going to talk about actually writing to market and possibly writing... Uh, yeah, we're going to jump into writing nonfiction just for those of you folks who possibly might want to write some nonfiction as well. Um, if there's any of you out there, Carla Marie is. Uh, wow, I have learned so much stuff from her. Uh, Hi, everyone. But, I'm Carla Marie. Welcome hey, to my YouTube. Shush. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, free guide to start your, but it, it's much more entrepreneurial. You can tell, um, you know, right, she's talking about, you know, 800 to $20,000 publishing fiction. She does a lot of stuff where she gets her stuff ghost written um, and uh, a lot of nonfiction, a lot of how to's. So if that's not your thing, I completely understand, but she's here. Great resources if that's what you want to do. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, an, another guy in that vein, um, there he is, uh, Ameka Osai, this guy is, again, I have learned so much from this guy, I've watched him grow from like only a couple thousand subscribers and making, I mean, he did, his site did not look like this when I started watching him, uh, he did not have this amazing channel beginning, this, uh, this guy has been killing it um, but again he gets his stuff ghost written he produces the crazy how to's on Amazon it might not be your realm at all I know you guys are a bunch of creatives just like I am and we produce fiction but I want to show that this world exists out there right um, self-publishing with Dale this guy awesome stuff Right, this guy's only been around for a couple of years. I watched this guy start his channel from scratch. He Everyone loves to share their books. Blowing it up, he's amazing. Um, yeah, awesome stuff about marketing, keeping up on Amazon trends. Uh, just yeah, all kinds of amazing stuff. Highly recommend all these resources. 
And so I'm going to stick all these links together. I'm half recording these for myself, half recording them for you, hopefully, because I can get this out into a bunch of links. If not, this will just be the longest description ever with hundreds of links in it, I guess. And this is just to start with, folks. We're going to go through and find more links and more resources as time goes on. Um, uh, you may or may not know about oh, Shailene, Shailin. Uh none of that Shaylin writes she's um, I mean obviously you could tell she's probably really young but super good at her craft uh, and this is craft stuff right uh, this is definitely writing for love right I've jumped back into that uh, sorry for being a total spaz Aaron Bach is also a great Aaron Aaron no that's six videos that's not right where is it oh, I don't know where she went I'll find her later I'll link to it down below I know that's her name but that must not be how you spell it um ah I don't know if you guys know who you know Brandon Sanderson is I'm <laughs> sorry no um guys he has courses online this channel doesn't have any content. What What do you mean it doesn't have any content? In this video series here, Brandon Sanderson teaches you how to write. Yeah. It's amazing. I recommend it. We're going to move on to good old fashioned let's do it resources. Highly recommend it. Thesaurus.com, dictionary.com is attached right to it. Right? They're super useful. But then there's also, and I know this is technically the same thing. Etym and this thing. Etymology. I love this site. It is super great. You can look up words like goblin. And so, like, it'll show you, okay, cool, early 14th century, a devil incubus, a little ugly fairy dude. This is what I love about the term goblin. Another suggestion is that it is a diminutive of the proper name, gobel. So to call a gobel a goblin, right, the French gobelin is not recorded until almost 250 years after appearance of the English term, right, um, in mentioned in the 1100s wow anyway I love this kind of stuff sometimes because it allows you to do really really amazing naming of stuff and this site just has a, a way better historical reference background I found than than some of the others just uh, yeah so anyway I really like this one a lot um but then there's also Synonym Finder. That one's actually pretty good too. Yeah, it, it's, it's again, you know, yeah, right? Right, I mean, this is great. Rage, Cult, Craze, Fad, Furor, Furore? I don't know. You know, it, uh, it does a great job of just breaking these words down and giving you a whole bunch of just different options and why and how you would do it and just links to it. anyway they're all different databases and so they all work a little bit differently and they all have their own you know goodness and all oh, pit pitfalls and whatnot right um, so that's all about writing your prose properly you can tell I can't type very well but 10 rules for writing fiction books this is just advice there's a bunch of quotes from uber famous folks like Elmore Leonard this is the guy who tells us that using adverbs is a mortal sin that's where we get it the quotes Diana Adhill right read it aloud to yourself 
huh, perhaps it should be cut, right? Margaret Atwood, Helen Dunmore, right? I mean, Neil Gaiman, you know? Anyway, just good advice from people smarter than me, right? I'm not going to be giving you the advice. I'm just going to find it for you. Okay, and then there's also, you know, just in case some of you folks are too young to, uh, I don't know how they do that. Is it? Yeah, it is just writersdigest.com. Okay, that's easy. Right on. I mean, this is where the old people go to find old people's stuff, but man, there are some great, great resources here. Um, I, yeah, I really like it. Um, wait, did I, did I link to that? Can't remember. Didn't know. I have to admit, though, I am also a bit of a film nerd. And so I'm going to have to link to the script lab because I love this site. So while we're waiting for that to load up, because I am a total spaz and can't handle anything, speaking of new media and the way things are blending, right? Check this stuff out. Cloud Novel is this way you can build movable, uh, uh, I, it's HTML online books. So it's basically like if you guys remember Flash, but it's not Flash, it's built in JavaScript. Um, it is absolutely amazing. These people are making interactive stories and moving graphic novels that are just absolutely top notch. And so I'm going to go ahead and link to this just because it's a super fun, absolutely amazing. Now, it's a lot of, and you know, see, you see, it's a lot of this anime stuff, right? But oh man, just the potential of this is, is, it's super exciting. And so I'm going to go ahead and link to that too. Um, we'll just, uh, no, close. Yep, and we'll just go ahead and just link to the script lab. That's why it's, it's trying to just load up so much active data. And we'll just go to here. But I mean, for instance, right, and see from here, we can just, you know, this is romancing the stone and, you know, Crocodile Dundee, but at the same time, it shows how to break down these plots, right? Five point breakdowns of all of these different plots character story plot episode you know this is just it's oh these are great resources i i love this site just because it's all free it's all just you know articles by industry professionals all that sort of stuff um yeah uh, i highly recommend it evernote actually is, oh you know what? let's go back to the creative indie um i know he has yeah it's a really nice way, nice way to outline um, I really love his, yeah, it's like a 24 bullet point, you know, 28 bullet point little thing. And yeah, it just makes perfect sense. And so we've got that link there. Um, Evernote. Uh, I, I don't use Evernote, to be honest. But as you can see, I've got this 12 creative writing templates thing here. So if you use Evernote, um, this link may be of use to you. So we can go ahead and, and, and take this guy here. Um yeah, I, 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 I've noticed that there's there's a bunch of them here. It could be really interesting. There's a story premise worksheet, three-act plotting templates, story beats, right? This is like for the movie stuff, right? Uh, a snowflake method. Oh, speaking of the snowflake method, right? Spazoid. This guy invented the snowflake method, and it's actually super, super useful. Um, it's this idea where you start with, with creating, yeah, so you start with three, right these three basic kind of plot points and then you break those apart and then you break those apart and then you and 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 it's 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 this just the fractal design and he's absolutely right it's a 10 step thing and it's super awesome it gets you a bunch of really amazing uh uh in-depth plot points out of it it's uh you know it, it's for us it's for the ah no you go here it's for us plotters um, but, but uh, yeah, all, all these resources right here have been and, and are going to be, right, like, uh, speaking of which, that's why I wanted to go to the Writer's Digest site, 
Writer's Digest, seven steps to... There it is. Eight. This, the, this link, um, I like this. This is, this is quite handy because it's a very loose outline um, and, and it allows you to sort of, you know, explore, right? The explore your settings stuff. These, uh, this is like, a, it's kind of like that plot gardening idea that, that Chris Fox has. He's, he actually wrote a book called Plot Gardening um, and it's, uh, yeah, uh, something you're going to want to do if you're going to write, you know, fantasy, fantasy, right? Um, it definitely, it, it, I'm not sure if you need it so much as you're doing, um, you know, urban crime or something like that, but it's uh, it's definitely great for us uh, high fantasy and sci-fi folks to, to spend our time letting our mental seeds blossom. Lastly, this is going to be it, and I'm going to call the video an end. I have got course courses, uh, five links to a few sites for those of you who like... Um, Boop, boop. Actual courses. Um, there's a place called Open University. All right, and so their free course. Come on. Yep. Their free course is Start Writing Fiction. All right, yeah, and so here we have Start Writing Fiction course, their free course. Yeah, we've got the course description. Um, yeah, it's got it. I'm not going to read that, but yeah, so right, we've got this link here. I'll link you to that. But what you do, you know, you click on, like, uh, I don't know, a character or whatever, right? And it drops you off here, right? And this is great because, you know, click on the settings under below to get this stuff. And pow, I got a PDF of the course, what? Right? And so, here it is, free course material. You know, actually learning how to do it, follow along, round and flat characters, source, I mean, this is this is it. So this is, yeah, I, I really like these resources a lot. Um, there's these guys. MIT has a whole uh, site called MIT Open Courseware. And what we're looking for specifically, though, is under the free courses. Um, yeah, let's see here. Or what is it called? Wait, here we go. There we go. And so this, Writing and Reading Short Stories, is a great little MIT course. This is the course home. This website is not super friendly to use, but, you know, what, what are you going to do? Don't show this to me. Um, syllabus is here, right? Instructor Insights, Readings, right? And so if you click over here to Readings, um, it doesn't actually, like, have this Readings for free, right? It tells you what the reading list is and allows you to buy the book, right, The Art of the Short Story, on Amazon, right? It gives you the assignments, right? The lecture notes, right? Quarter exercises, right? You can download all the course materials, right? And take these courses all on your own. It's just that, yeah, you need to buy your own book, right? So, you know, that that is what that is. I mean, you know, these are college kind of courses. Um, and so, yeah, so, but it's mostly free, right? Um, Stanford has one free writing course. Um, it's called, you know, yeah, Adventures in Writing or Adventures, yeah. Uh, it, it, I guess it's a comic. I haven't used these guys, right? I am just pulling what I know to be, you know, MIT, Stanford, right? You know, uh, uh, reputable resources for you folks who, who want to take, you know, the course level. Um, and so I don't actually know anything about this at all. Uh, and the website's super easy to use. This is a, the, the, yeah, this is not like the MIT site. Um, then we've also got, I was actually really surprised with the quality of these products. 
Um, they're called MOOCs. And um, yeah, Massive Online Something or Other Classes. And uh, it's pretty amazing. So um, here's one of them. And, and check this stuff out. Here we are. Session one readings, session one discussion questions, a podcast about it, a video about it, the transcripts, and an example assignment. These are for you to download and host and teach your own MOOC, right? Um, that they're called MOOC packs. And I'm not exactly sure how this works, but folks, these are free resources anybody can download and read and play with and teach themselves with. Um, so if that's the way you like to do things and have a curriculum ready for you to go, there we are. Oh, whoops, wrong one. I wanted to go EDX, the other creative writing. Right, so what I found is that creative writing wasn't the thing to actually look up on this site. I forgot about that. Sorry to waste your time, folks. It is much more beneficial to click on this left-hand navigation here to get to what you want. Just because, you know, every site's different and whatnot. Um, and we want not all program courses, but we want... English I remember that because they apparently offer them in different languages which is, is I that, that's very cool um, but but I don't speak any other languages so that wouldn't help me might help you vote you folks though self-paced was the other qualifier we needed so we've got English self-paced and then I found that if you went to literature as well Right, and put these three filters up, English, self-paced, and literature. There were actually some pretty interesting courses. Masterpieces of the world, modern masterpieces, you know, ancient masterpieces of the world, the divine comedy, Shakespeare's Hamlet. Um, yeah, so if these are your kind of thing, you know, poetry in America. Um, yeah, this, so this is courses where it's actual writing studies. And so... That's that's uh, 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 not really what what I was in in this for. You know, I just wanted to write adventure books in the in the in the vein of Edgar Rice Burroughs. You know, we get some Conan kind of stories out there. But if this is for you folks, I, I yeah. So that's it. That's actually all the links I have researched for you folks in today's video to get you started down this path. I've got you links for this part here um, I will put in Aaron Bach I swear it's Aaron Bach it might be Aaron Beck I'll put her link she does a lot of stuff about how to edit your own um, videos and how to revise your own work and whatnot so does Derek Murphy so does Chris Fox um, they do recommend hiring editors right everybody does that um, so I'm gonna go the the no editor beta reader route and most people will tell you not to but We'll see what happens. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I actually really enjoyed making it. I hope watching my super spastic process wasn't too infuriating. I hope this uh, big swath of links is worth it. Um, huh, I wonder if that saved properly. Anyway, I'll find out if it did later. I'll put them all below in the description no matter what. If it was good, like I was saying, trying to say before, please give it a like. Comment below if you would like to see any other links and whatnot, or if you have any other research topics for me, or any other links for you uh, for us to share, because um, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks folks. Enjoy, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will catch you folks later. Bye.